Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. So the Blues have just beat the Western Force, 31 points to 21. This now officially means that the Blues are going to be playing in the home final next week against the Honders. So yeah, well done to the Blues, of course. You know, very happy as a Blues fan, of course. But yeah, you know, within that, within the game itself, you know, I'd say it was a tale of two halves in the sense where the Blues really controlled that first half, scoring four tries on the board. But yeah, within that second half, the Western Force really came back into the game. Of course, it wasn't enough to actually, you know, win the game uh, or come back within it, but still, I mean, they, they put up a really good display for, you know, the Western Force, and of course, they've been very good, I'd say, throughout this whole competition. Been unlucky, actually, not to win some games, but yeah, but they're also, you know, like I said again, they, 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 the Blues were just, I think, a lot more dominant, you could say, within that first half, and that's what really what got the win over the line. I mean, yeah, within that first half, of course, I think the first try obviously went to Hoskins at 2-2. This is... Probably the best try in the game, in my opinion. You know, obviously, uh, Rico Lani got a, got his hands on the ball uh, throughout a more, throughout like you know uh, within the breakdown, and all he had to do was just kind of do a backwards pass towards uh, Satutu, and Satutu all he had to do was just kind of run past everyone, use kind of outpacing them, and you know, kind of using his uh, leg burners and all that, and obviously putting the the ball down on their try lines. Yeah, very good try, I'd say, for the Blues to get off the mark. That was within the ninth minute. The next try actually scored was actually within the twenty seventh minute. So yeah, it took a bit. A bit more time to actually come into the game for the Blues, but I believe that was for Mark Talia getting his um, try within that one. It was within, it was within the left hand side, I believe. Again, this was another set play. Well, not set play, but the Blues kind of developed a few phases within the uh, Western Forces twenty two, and yeah, from there, you know, the Ontario Black pretty much just passes out to, I believe, Rico, and Rico all he had to do was just kind of do a flat pass towards uh, Mark Talia, and Mark Talia pretty much just, you know, used his pace and obviously scored a try from the left hand corner. So. Overall, I'd say it was a pretty good try for the Blues. I'm not going to say it was outstanding, but still very good you know, play for actually, you know, kind of just, you know, you could say finding spaces within the uh, Western Force's uh, defense. But yeah, obviously within uh, the Blues then responded again very quickly within the 33rd minute for the likes of Dalton Papali. Again, this is probably another good try in the sense where, you know, it was a, you could say, a wonderful passing move in the sense where Dalton was able to, like, you know, they were just, they kept attacking within the... Uh, the uh, the middle well you could say the the heart of the uh, Western Force defense and from there was able to uh, kind of I believe it was Christie who then passed it to Atera and Atera just did a backwards pass towards Dolce Papali and Dolce Papali was just able to run down run around uh, the post and just score a try underneath there so yeah pretty good try I'd say from the uh, Blues right there but yeah I believe from that you know the Blues then scored one more try of course within the uh, the the first half with the likes of said two two getting his second try of the game uh, I believe within what minute was that that was around the thirty seventh minute so yeah. A very good try say, overall from him. Pretty much a standard try. I'm not going to really go too much into detail with that. But yeah, pretty good try from him overall. But yeah, that was kind of a bit really in that first half. Obviously, he was 28 points to nil. So yeah, the Blues really just dominated within that, that, within that first half. But when you go into the second half, however, this is when you, you can say the tides change and where the Western Force really begins to show their strengths through the likes of... Uh, uh, who was it? Uh, was it, was it Kaitu um, who went with the first try, I believe, within the uh, 47th minute? Uh, good try from him, obviously, they developed, they developed a few phases um, within the uh, Blues 22, and yeah, I believe from there, Katu was able to like kind of put his hands um, on the line. It, at first, it didn't actually look like a try, in my opinion, but of course, when they actually looked at the TML, you can see he clearly grounded it, and yeah, it was a good try to be awarded. So yeah, obviously, that kind of brought the, uh, you could say, the Western Force, yeah, at least some points on the board, uh, the strong off the, uh, the second half. But yeah, from there, the, the Western Force did continue their, you know, their, their scoring. Uh, for the likes of Tavidia Kurajani within the 55th minute, I believe. Uh, this was a this was probably their best try within the game. Uh, to be fair to them, uh, it was one of those where, actually, I mean, they, they had two decent tries towards the end. But I, I think this was probably my favorite, which is because it was a it was a set piece play essentially, and I believe that all that they do, I think it was Ian Pryor. He pretty much did a a pass towards uh, Tavidia Kurajani, and Tavidia Kurajani, as the, you know the big man he is, kind of just pushes over two uh two Blues players and kind of just uh kind of. You know, shifts himself so he's able to put the ball down on the, um, on the lines. Yeah, very good try I'd say from him. And kind of brought the, you can say the Western Force with a smaller chance of coming back uh, back into this game. But yeah, I believe from that, you know, the Blues did get a penalty, so it kind of, it kind of just extended their reach. But I believe from that, you know, the, I think it was the the Western Force that then got a second, well, the, their third try from the game uh, through the likes of, who was it? It was, what well, I, I know there was a yellow card for Ray uh, Nuiya, um, Right, and he just came on as well, so it was one of those where he, he came on and then he got a yellow card so he had to come off. So it was a bad one for him, obviously. It was where the Blues actually scored a try, a second try from Martelea. So um, it was a, you know, going to be a try, but of course it got ruled um, ruled out due to a, you could say, a, a high, I guess a high tackle, you could say. Um, 
he, he was trying to like push I, I guess one of the players out, but unfortunately got his hand over one of the players. So the money had a yellow card, of course. But yeah, that was only within, of course, the like what sixty ninth minute. So of course, from there, I believe the Western Force got the last try from the game for the likes of Rob Kearney. Probably, the, and to be fair, this was probably their best try, but it's one of those which it's just a standard try in the sense where they were able to kind of space out the Blues defense. Uh, set piece in a sense where they were able to pass it out, and yeah, I think it was like what they created a three on one situation where Zarin Sullivan was just not able to kind of just you know just you know cover all three uh, spaces. But of course, uh, Rob Kearney got the got his uh, got the try, and yeah, it was a good try from uh, Western Force really. Yeah, that kind of brought them over the twenty minute uh, twenty point mark. But yeah, from there that was kind of it really with the game, and yeah, it finished uh, of course twenty one points to twenty one. So yeah, overall very happy as a Blues fan. You know, this does mean that the Blues do play the Highlanders next week, and. Yeah, hopefully they can obviously win that. You know, I'd be praising if they can win that. I'd be very happy. Of course, you know, it shows at least progress that the Blues have made within within the last. You, they've, you know, the progress or slash strides they've made within the last, I'd say, three years, uh, through their recruitment as well as you know the de uh, the uh, development of players. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Uh, most likely, I'm just gonna let you guys know that I'm not gonna be doing a my reaction towards the War Tars Chiefs game. Um, just because you know it's one of those games where I just think that. I, I can, but it's one of those where it's just, it, it doesn't really affect the table in any way. And I also have, <laughs> I also, surprisingly, I've, I've worked uh, some uh, stuff I need to take care of. So, other than that, yeah, just sort of, I think that's kind of it with uh, today's videos. But, yeah, just uh, hope you guys have a good day. And, yeah, I'll definitely uh, make another video tomorrow, uh, most likely for the Australian squad being announced. So, yeah, take watch out for that one because I'll, be, um, I'll go over my uh, opinion on slash reaction of what I think about that. Um, about the selection. But other than that, just yeah, hope you guys have a good day and yeah, talk to you guys soon.